In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your guitar strings the proper way. My name is Rob Reed. Let's get into it. I actually can't stand changing guitar strings. I'd rather sit around and eat goulash than change these strings. Matter of fact, the last time I changed these strings, I actually can't remember the last time I changed these strings. Today I want to show you the best strings to buy, how to properly change your strings so that the guitar will stay in tune, and stick around to the end of the video where I have another cool trick to show you to lock your strings in place. I highly recommend getting coated strings. So they come with a special kind of coating on them to help them last a lot longer than normal strings. You can get twice as long out of these strings. You should change your strings maybe every six months up to a year. You can get about a year out of these ones. I don't want to tell you how long I've had these ones on for, but it's been longer than a year. As for 12s or lights, that's the size to get. So let's get to changing these strings. I'm here at my kitchen table, all ready to go, all set up. Got a towel. And a couple things before we start. Um, your strings, when you take them out of the package, they come in these little packets. And I recommend keeping them in the same order that they come in when you take them out of the package. Just because it helps you stay organized and you don't want to mix your strings up and then accidentally put the wrong string in the wrong spot. Like you don't want to have a B string where the G string is supposed to go. And then, at, and then when you're finished, you realize, man, I did it wrong. And you cut the string and it's too late. Also, you want to have a spoon and a rag just to help you pop out the, um, the bridge pegs there so you don't scratch the wood. All right. Some people use these plastic string winder things. You put them on the uh, tuning peg and you can wind the string really fast. They're helpful. It's not as hard on your wrists, but I don't use them. I usually start with the low E string. So you're just gonna take the string off first. This is actually a great excuse to make a video on this topic because now I have to change my string. And then grab the rag here and pop off that. Sometimes you push the string in first and then it'll come up a lot easier. There we go. So then I like to kind of wipe the thread a bit. I uh, highly recommend leaving the strings on, like don't take them all off at one time. Just take the one off that you're, you're changing because you don't want to take the tension off the neck. Um, yeah, so just leave the rest on. All right. Having fun on a Thursday night. So you put that in there. Take the bridge peg. So then I push it down. It has a little groove in it. So just let the string sit in that groove and then pull, pull it up while you push down on the peg. And then you're gonna come straight up. Then you're gonna go straight into the hole, just like you're threading a needle, just like that, okay? And then leave some, leave a bit of slack, like pull the string up a bit because it has to have some slack on it to wrap around the tuning peg. And here's the trick. This is the bonus. This is the money trick right here. This is a lot of people don't change strings like this. I'm going to give you an expert pro tip. When you change the string, you want to latch the string around itself. So then it creates tension and is tighter and it'll stay in tune better. So that's my bonus tip. Okay. So we're going to go, we went through the needle, then we went to the right. So we're going this way with the string. Okay. So it's through, it's through the hole. Now we're going to wrap around forward this way, okay, with a bit of slack on the string. We're going to come underneath the string and come underneath and pull it. And then I'm going to latch over top, okay? It's a little not what you would expect, but this latch is going to tighten and keep the string tighter on the tuning peg and it won't slip and it'll stay in tune better, okay? So that's what you got there. And you got some slack. Hopefully I didn't need too much slack. Now you start to wind. So you're winding like away from you. If you get all this right the first time, you're gonna get you. That's not just winding the peg. Yeah, I'm pulling this tight. All right, there you go. 
looking pretty good. Now, <clears throat> you can cut this off or you can just wrap it around. All right, first string down. Second string, we're moving on to the A string. So we're gonna loosen that up and take it off. Remember, we're just taking one string off at a time to keep the tension on the neck. It doesn't want to come out easy. All right, so we get the A string out, and we're gonna pop, push the string down, and sometimes they just come out really easy. So there goes the A string, and we're gonna take an A string out here. And it's the same process. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put the end in the hole and pull the string up through the indentation on the peg and go right up into the tuning peg. You're threading the needle. All right, so thread the needle straight through. And, and then you want to leave some slack on the string so that you have somewhere to go when you tighten it. Okay, so then we're going to go around this way. I'm going to bend the string around this way and then latch underneath. Go underneath and then create a latch and fold it over like that. Okay, so one underneath, fold it over and then kind of pull up on the string a bit and tighten. There, this one looks a lot better than the below we string. Okay. All right, that's it. So there you go, A string done. All right, so you're just taking the string off and pop in the, the bridge peg out. Throw on the crusty string away. <laughs> and then grab the new one. Gee, this isn't so bad after all. I should do this more often. All right. And there. Uh, pull the string up through the indent and just pull it up. Just pull it up so it's not loose in there. We're going up to the top, through the needle. Okay, and then leaving some slack and then looping around forward okay so loop it around this way go underneath go underneath the string pull it tight and then latch it over okay and there's a good chance that it'll stay in tune better pull it tight this peg is a bit broken so hopefully it doesn't mess up So I'm pulling the string tight while I turn, turn the peg, just so it threads onto the tuning peg in a nice orderly fashion. I just want to go easy on that peg because it's not in the best shape. Okay, so now moving on to the G string. Oh man, this guitar is going to be in good shape and sounding really good after these strings get on here. I can't believe it's been a long time. I think it was, okay, I'll let you know a little secret. I think it was before COVID when I changed the last. So that's really bad. Really bad. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right. And you want to be careful taking the strings off too because you can easily, especially for the smaller strings, you can really like stab yourself good. Wow, this one is like, this one's like turning green. That's not good. Not good. Um, okay. Yeah, just be careful you don't stab yourself. 
with the ends. I've like actually stabbed myself and it went into my skin and I had to pull it back out again. Okay, here we go, another one. G-string, we're moving right along here. This is great, this is great. Okay, we started off a little, a little rough, but now we're we're hitting our stride. Okay, so you wanna angle the pit, the hole so you can, the string can go straight through it. Okay, straight through, thread the needle. Okay, this time, now we're upside down, so we're gonna flip. You're gonna, move, you're gonna loop the string towards you this time and go underneath. And then latch over flip this way. Okay. And then pull the string tight. And then tight. How's everybody doing? Are you hanging in there? And you wanna, if you can, you wanna hold, you wanna hold the string tight while you turn the peg, just so that it picks up the slack. All right, G string is on. Moving on to the B string. And we're finding a new B string. These ones are a little trickier to get on because they're so small and thin, but we can do it and you can do it. So we're putting the ball in the end and the, pulling the string up through and pushing down on the, the peg and threading again. Okay, so leave a bit of slack. I always, I always end up leaving too much slack on these ones. Okay, so we're gonna loop this forward towards me, underneath the string, up top, pull it tight, down, and then turn the peg, in this case, towards me. That one went pretty good. Well, all right, last string, the E string. Man, this is going a lot better than I thought. And I find it's the best way. Right. So be careful, don't stab yourself. And pull the peg out, throw the string away. I find this is the best way to put strings on because there's less chance for them to slip. You go out of tune, nothing worse than guitars that go into tune. Alright, so one more. Peg in the hole, pull tight, thread the needle, okay, and then, okay, then come towards you, go underneath the string, and then latch it over top, Fold it, basically fold it over top. And then pull the string tight, and then wind the peg. And the string will fold back on itself and create a tighter grip, tighter seal, or tighter latch. And there's less chance of a string sliding and going out of tune. So I'm kind of holding, I'm holding the string up a bit while I turn it. Just to keep it tight. All right, there you go. That's it. Voila, we changed our strings. It's not so bad after all. So the last thing I recommend is cutting the excess string off. So, the last thing I recommend is pulling the strings tight once you get them on, and that'll pull up any slack that's in the bridge or on the tuning peg. And strings have to stretch when you put them on too. So, you want to pull them and then tune them, and then pull them again, stretch them. Uh, 
Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Now you know the best way to change your strings so that the string won't slip and the guitar will stay in tune. And hope you enjoyed this video. Check out this video. See you in the next one.